Hello guys, Aaron here, so in this video, I will explain the Cyrillic alphabet, or the Russian alphabet. Most of you recognize this alphabet by its weirdness, it looks a lot like the, like the Latin alphabet, but also has some weird letters. If, if you watch this video, you can learn the entire Russian alphabet and even read and write it. This could be helpful if you are learning the Russian language, and a few other languages. So you might think that the Russian alphabet originated in Russia by its name, but it actually originated in Bulgaria, being inspired by, inspired by the Greek alphabet. The Cyrillic alphabet is used as an official script in Russia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Mongolia, Ukraine, Belarus, Serbia, North Macedonia, and Bulgaria but uses a secondary script in Bosnia Herzegovina, Montenegro, Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan, and Uzbekistan. The Cyrillic alphabet is divided by most people into three groups. The first one is the true friends, which are letters brought from the Latin alphabet and are pronounced exactly the same. There is the A, which is exactly the same in uppercase and lowercase, E, which is also the same, but in some contexts it makes a yet sound. K, which is the same, but in the lowercase is a smaller version of the uppercase. M, which is the same, but the lowercase is a smaller version of the uppercase. O, the same, but in some contexts it makes a schwa a sound. C, which is the same, but you would think in some Russian words this makes both a K and an S sound. But it always makes an S sound, and it even shows it in transliterations. And T, which is the same, but the lowercase is a smaller version of the uppercase. Now the next group is more confusing. It is the false friends, which looks like some letters from the Latin alphabet, but they make different sounds from what you expected. The first one looks like an uppercase B, but it is actually a V sound. I mean, the letter V makes a similar sound like B, but it kinda is like a half a true friend and half a false friend. The next one is very confusing. It looks like it is an E with an umlaut or diaresis, but it is actually pronounced as YO, a letter which makes two sounds. It is not really used in Russian, but it is used in some words like AKTYOR, which means actor. The next one looks like a 3, but in fact, it is actually a Z sound. This cannot make sense since in English cursive, the letter C looks like a 3. The next one looks like a reverse uppercase N, but it's actually an I, and this letter is actually a word, which is the word for AND. The next one looks like a Spanish Ñ, but it is actually a Y sound, but this is the version that makes uh, the version of the Y that makes an I sound. Also, the letters Ikraika and E are very similar, so that half circle tilde changes the pronunciation. The next one looks like an H, but it's actually pronounced as N. So the name Anna in Cyrillic looks like Aha. The next one looks like a P, but it's actually an R. It looks like a person extended to lowercase r. The next one looks like a Y, but it's actually pronounced as U. And this also makes sense in English cursive, because the Y looks like an U. And finally, this looks like an X, but it is actually a H sound. It makes sense because in the International Phonetic Alphabet, the symbol for the KH sound is an X, so does in the Greek alphabet. So the final group are the new friends, which are mostly letters that are only found in the Cyrillic alphabet. The first one looks like a 6 in the lowercase form, but is a B sound, but the uppercase looks familiar to the uppercase B. The next one is G, which makes a G sound, and it is actually derived from Greek, and also suspiciously similar to Giyok, a letter of the Korean alphabet. The next one is D, which sounds like a D, and it kinda looks like a weird lowercase a. The next one looks super weird, it kinda looks like a bug, it's pronounced j, like mixing sh and z together. 
the next one is the letter L and it looks like a bent leg for some reason. The next one is actually used in mathematics and brought from Greek. The letter makes a P sound and it's like an N but all of the sides are completely flat. The next one is also used in mathematics and brought from Greek. It's the letter for the F sound and it looks like some lungs breathing out air like the next one is an interesting one. It is the letter that makes it the, t the TS sound, like in Tsunami. And it looks like an upside down P, but there is a small line sticking out from the bottom right. The next one looks like a weird Y, but that is the letter for the SH sound, like in SHE'S. The next one is interesting. It is the letter SH, and it kind of looks like the Arabic letter for the SH sound. The next one is pronounced similarly, it makes the sh sound, and it feels like you're starting to make a sh sound, but then transitioning into a sh sound. It is pronounced like the sh and sh, and it is like sh, but like s, there is a line at the bottom right. The next letter is pretty weird, it is miyaki snack, meaning soft signed, which makes the letter that is before it softened. The next letter is the opposite, it is just this snack, which hardens the letter before it. The next one is weird, it is uh, it's it is pronounced like the E in lover, and you can recognize this letter from many tricky languages, which use this symbol which is like an I without a dot. The next one is E, which is pronounced like the E in red, and it is a closed D. You can use this letter to start a word with E, but without making a y, y sound, since the E tends to be pronounced as Y at the beginning of the word. The next one but is also a letter which makes two sounds. It is U, which is, looks like U combined an I and an O. And finally, this one is weird. It looks like a reverse R, but this, this makes the Y sound. And it's also used at the end of the name of many countries to represent IA. So now you can read Russian. Keep practicing the letters if you don't read Cyrillic really well. Hope this was helpful. Brushai. Also check out my costume channel, Matthew Alvarez. The link will be in the description. That's the end of the video. Also subscribe and click the bell so you won't miss any videos. Also share this video to your friends so, so they can see it and they will subscribe to me.